Okay, I wanted to make a really quick video about this machine because this machine is not mine. It was brought to me, um, so I'm not gonna have access to it. <laughs> so it's gonna be sloppy. Okay, so this machine um, is a zigzag machine. It is called the White House machine. It's very cool. It's beautiful, look at this. Oh, so pretty. Anyway, okay, so this machine um, is supposed to do zigzag stitch. Unfortunately, this mechanism was completely jammed. So I just wanted to show you how to troubleshoot these machines and how to troubleshoot any machine that's really stuck um, when it comes to zigzag stitch. Okay, first of all, open here. And the first thing you wanna do before you even touch anything is oil the bejesus out of it. Okay, so this one has a screw right here. The screw is missing. And then it has a top screw right here. And then these two little guys, they are um, these. This one screws in, this one actually detaches uh, also with a screw, but anyway, that comes off. So if you look at this machine, it's got, I'm not sure what this is, this might have a lever. If anybody has a manual for this machine, I would so love it if you could just make me a copy. I would be grateful forever. Um, I, I really love to see original manuals for these kinds of machines. Okay, so anyway, so we have the zigzag lever. So the first thing I do, actually I could see that it's got seeds in it. This machine has been sitting outside for a very long time. So it's got like debris, I don't even know what the hell, yeah. Yeah, that's, um, those are seeds. So it's, it's all inside, it needs to be cleaned obviously, which I will blow it out. But the first thing you wanna do is you wanna spray the bejesus out of it. Um, I use WD-40 if things are really bad and I use sewing machine oil afterwards after I kind of clean things up. So basically, there is a, a, a lever right here. This is, the, this is where the zigzag basically activates. Um, machines like this, if they have a cam also, the lever that switches often gets, gets gunky. It depends on the kind of sewing machine oil they obviously use. Also, these, these would not turn. So I literally had to spray them down from the inside. They were completely stuck. So basically, this little lever, so if you have, let's say, a stuck machine and it's only in, in, in um, straight stitch, and you're trying to pull this, don't go pulling this like crazy. You're going to break this little lever. So what you do, and what I kind of did because things got really bad, and it's like it was glued. It's It's been soaking for the last, I think, probably six hours with WD-40 and still wouldn't budge. So what I do is I very gently, if I have a very gunky area, I kind of pry a little bit to get a little movement in there and that's kind of what I had to do to separate out and anywhere you see a track let's say you don't know much about machines you see a track that something is gonna move along that track it's not just for fun okay so just assume that if something's not moving along that track when you're moving on these little levers something's wrong so anyway so I had to force this to go down and once I forced it to go down I kind of cleaned up the gunk so it's, it's out of there and I put sewing machine oil to make it move smoother. And I will clean this up obviously a little bit better tonight. Um, the other thing is the needle bar has to be able to move. Anywhere you see a plunger like this, these plungers need to go in and they need to go out. So if you see a plunger, that means that the machine, one second. Here it is. I'm gonna activate the stitch really fast so you can see. That means that that needle bar has to somehow move. Obviously, this needle bar is not moving exclusively, look. And you can tell that, and I'm gonna show you a different machine, because this is enclosed. On my other machine, that exactly the same thing happened. It was completely stuck. Hold on, this is a Kenmore machine pretty standard. I think everybody and their mother had one of these at some point. Okay. This one was also completely jammed shut. It would not switch to the cams at all. So it's literally the same problem. And I am going to do a video separately on this machine. But this one has an independent needle bar. There is nothing that encloses it. And you can see that there is space for the needle bar to move. If your needle bar, if you push it and there is no give, that's not because it's locked in. It's because this machine is jammed. So you want to unglue all that. So, and you see there's that little plunger I was talking about. Where is he? Right there. So this little plunger should pop in 
and out. See? So if you're not getting any movement on a machine that's supposed to zigzag, you have a stuck machine. Again, WD-40, um, this one I, I cleaned up already, but this was <laughs> in the same shape. Okay, so back to this one. Okay, so once I got that freed, um, I could see that now this is going to, it, it unglued, and now it's rotating back and forth. You see that? Okay, so the way this machine works is basically you have, and this is all very simple because machines, honestly, with metal gears, when there's nothing plastic in there, these machines, they don't break. So people bring them into the thrift stores all the time. And they throw them out because the machine got jammed up because it's been sitting for 40 years with glue in it. They, it's not a broken machine. Um, nine times out of 10, I'd say even, <laughs> I'd say 9.8 times out of 10, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just jammed shut. So lubricate it properly and then look for any movement that's stuck. And then obviously your timing can be an issue, but that's rare. Um, okay, so anyway, so this machine, it activates, let me, loosen this little guy there he is I tighten him okay so he activates by pulling your zigzag lever and then locking it in place so this wasn't working either so I couldn't lock it so every single time I tried to you know so it would just basically slide right back my hands are very oily right now but you want it to move very smoothly so once you lock this in place you are ready to go and then this one is going to lock your position my apologies. So you basically need to lock both of these guys to mark your position of how wide your zigzag stitch is. And if you don't lock this, it's going to, your, your thing is going to slide out and it's going to become a straight stitch again. So now our machine should be stitching in a zigzag fashion. There you go. This is a very, very cool machine. So those are the only things that I see that really could be stuck. So your bar, you want to lubricate that. But anytime you see that kind of tread, like I said, you see something that, that has a track, get that lubricated, get that unstuck. Sometimes it takes a little movement. Don't go prying it with a screwdriver, but give it a little movement um, to see if that's going to help the situation. So that's pretty much it on this guy. And then he has a short and long stitch. He has up and down on his teeth. But this is a, look at this beauty. At that oh I wish you would let me keep it <laughs> and then of course he has a bobbin winder and the same thing that you can um, deactivate his uh, needle so that he'll wind just the bobbin so yeah okay um, if you have any questions obviously put them in the comment section and uh, if you have any info on this machine like a manual I would love it so much thank you for watching as always bye bye